face again. And I'm now I'm going to show you how to turn this uh, <laughs> homemade bitless bridle into three kinds of other bitless bridles. I just made a tutorial on how to make the <laughs> this <laughs> bridle yourself. So I'll put the link in the description so you can go and see that. Um, before you want to see this or whatever, first we're going to do is to make a sort of um, a cross under or a crossover or whatever you want to call it. The bridle, um, I have this, you can probably use any kind of rope or whatever you want to use, just make sure it is soft so it will uh, sort of wrap around the rings quite easily. I'm just going to put it over here, low key. Over with the neck band or whatever it's called. And then we're going to take this. Um, Probably best to have it inside of this. Um, and we're gonna take it on the in, across, underneath here, and out of this one. And then we can attach it, and then we will do the same with the other one. Take it from this side, just try to make sure it's straight, and underneath, and from the, this is a bit short. If you have a bigger horse too, this will be way too, way too short. All right. But try to make sure that it lies proper. So sometimes it's a bit late, and I also put it on the outside. Oh wow. Okay, whatever. This is just to show you. So. Uh, yeah, it's really easy to make yourself a cross under or crossover. People call it different stuff by yourself. So yeah, this would work quite well. I'd say probably easier to show you here. So when you pull here, it will be like a pressure on the side here. They call it the whole head hug. And now we're gonna try to make something that looks sort of like an Indian. Bosal. I don't really know how to pronounce that word, bosal, but that's closely to what we call it here in Norway. Um, and it also uh, can look a little bit like the Meroth, uh, or something. I don't really know how to pronounce that either, but Meroth maybe. This is actually a strap to use for spurs. I think, is that? Jesus, I can't pronounce anything right now. Alright, we'll call it spurs. So, and you will just attach a ring to that, Loki. Is this so boring? And put it through this string. And attach it to the other ring like this. And then you will do the exact same on the other. Just a, I don't know, 
strap thing. And I have uh, attached one ring on this side. And if you want to use this this exact kind of way, then you would have to be you have to be um, sure every time you ride that these are these are proper and Yeah, because I I imagine that this would easily get destroyed or worn out. So that is just a little disclaimer. And I just put on a curve chain protector to make the surface here a bit bigger than this. Okay. What we do is that we just pull it through here. Bye!